Hi guys and welcome to Thursday's episode of the Draft of Glory, the series where we're not packing special cards, we're not packing team of the years, we're not packing legends, we're not packing anything, we're packing not very good stuff. But we have managed to sell Woodbury for 1.9k, which has upped our total from the start end of yesterday's episode, and there's still some stuff to be sold as well. Fortunus is one of them, and I think he's actually moving uh, as well. Uh, there's a few other things on the trade pile, guys, but as you can tell, I am starting this one directly after yesterday's episode. So if you guys do want MSP, PSN codes, or cheap game codes, go and check out G2A.com, their link is down below. If we could try and hit over uh, yeah 4,000 likes that'd be brilliant and guys subscribe if you're not subscribed already so let's get into the draft today hopefully get a decent formation now the last ones we actually won with was this formation the 4-3-1-2 we've got the 4-3-3 attack which could work out pretty good but more than likely will end up being BPL or La Liga and the 4 3 one, two, we actually have done all right trying to hybridize stuff. So uh, I'm probably going to go the 4 3 one, two. just got one, two drafts of it last time. And fingers crossed we can do it again. Striker Lewandowski. Um, or Hig. Hig's got a higher rated card. Lewandowski's got a higher rated card. So I'll go with Higuain. I didn't choose Ronaldo or Demir because they were wingers. We get Adder. Ah, oh, if I'd have gone fucking. So we've got die back. If I'd have gone if I get Higuain, that still could work. So I might go Serie A. I might try and link it up Serie A. Dunno Polish is gonna be very difficult to get. Uh, but hopefully we can. We get Ozil, we get Draxler. And it's actually his old Wolfsburg card as well. Not a bad one. We'll go with that. We'll see. He's the only one who links with Lewandowski currently. Centre midfield, Hernanez link to and Asamoa actually. But Hernanez could make it a little bit easier. Uh, with it being Brazilian, then we get no one, apart from one Bundesliga player, Ekdal, uh, and then we're going to swap these two round anyway, depending on who we get here. Hopefully it's someone, oh, Pjanic. Not bad, not bad. So we get Pjanic, and we got, um, obviously, Hernanez. It looks like we could go Serie A, uh, if we get, like, Evra or Alexandra, or no one. Fuck, um... We could take Max. We could take Felipe Luis, uh, being Brazilian, swap them two round, gets a, a link there, and then we get crap. I'll oh, get Paletta uh, or Hubner actually. Um, I'll probably go with Paletta. Both of them are fifty-five pace. It's not not the best of teams so far, guys. Dragovic. Ooh, we do get we do get someone from the Serie A uh, who's probably usable in uh, Bartra. So I'll probably go Bartra. And then right back. It's not a good... It started off good, but then it's gone to shit. And then we get loads of informs. We get Weezer. He's probably the only one there who could do something. Yeah, we'll go with a Cal Freezy uh, lookalike there. And we could do with, like, Berkey. Or a decent goalkeeper from the Bundes. We get Farman. That's not bad. We do get Farman. Um, hopefully we can make a few changes. It's at 83 chem currently. Uh, need to get some big changes, though. Keeper. Not. Oh, we get Berkey. Could go Berkey in case we need that strong link to Bartra. So we'll go with him. Then we get Marcelo, Walker, Aurier, Silva. And I never took fucking... I'll go with Silva. I, should have... I really wish I'd have took uh, Maxwell now. Thinking that I was going to get him. But I obviously didn't think that was going to happen. Then left back Ribus. No one in there at all. So I'll go with Ribus in case we... Uh... Can do some. I don't know what we're going to do here. It's, a, it's an absolute mess is this draft so far. Vasquez. Sahin. For Dortmund. He will jump in the centre midfield position, won't he? Yeah, he will. And he will jump in better. There, taking us to 88 chemistry. And Berkey will take up that little bit more as well to 94. So we're looking alright. Just need some big changes. Naldo. I think Naldo is the only one I can think of. Nangolan. For Serie A. That one could work. Yeah, I'll take Nang I'll take the that's the second inform Nangol, isn't it, from this week, this one. That one. So we'll take that. Nani, Royce, Sanchez, Messi. Maybe Royce. Maybe Royce at striker. I don't know what chemistry will be on, but he might, I don't know. We're looking to go Serie A though, aren't we? Um Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Royce. He's only really Serie A one. Di Maria's not... Uh, sorry, Messi's not going to do anything. I'll go with uh, with Royce. And now we need to definitely get this, this defence sorted if we can. Dani Alves, Brazilian right back. 
William and the rest are wingers, aren't they? So you'll, we'll go with the Juventus link there. It drops chemist. Oh, he's the wrong side. Fuck. Um, we'll swap them to it. We'll swap them round. Um, swap him round. Swap him round. Uh, swap him round. 90 chem. Still not the best. Still not, still not the best at all. We could have gone Spanish right back. Spanish left back, sorry. Could have, could have worked now. Uh, Honda, Marcelo. Another Brazilian. But no way of getting him into the team. And Parolo sent him in. But we've already got... Um, Yeah, I might take Parolo. We just need to get out striker. So we've got Nangolan. We may as well start making the changes now. So we've got Nangolan. Parolo. Who I'll probably put in the, there. So swap them to over 79. And we just need more Serie A players. And Paletta will probably work better, actually, doing that and swapping them two round. It's not the best of teams so far, but I don't know what I'm going to end up doing. It's probably going to be a very, very low chem draft here. Aguero, ooh. Biglia, another CDM. João Mario. Quadrado. Sergio. Sergio Aguero does get the link to Dybala. We shall go with that. We shall go with that. It takes us an 85 chem. Fuck off. <laughs> I've completely screwed this up. Bale. Giroud. Gordine. Just trying to look at this. I could take Gordine, actually. Could take Gordine and Luis, and then they get two two links, don't they? And it should knock us up chemistry. Um, go with that. 85. But then still a goalkeeper shot. This is rough. This is very rough. Non rares are not going to help. Spanish left back. I did ask for a Spanish left back, didn't I? Liga Un. We'll, we'll go with him. Oh, my God. This has been the worst draft in ages because I decided to go somewhere different. Oh, Marilla. Right, let's piece together what we've got to see if we can make it better. I honestly think that we've screwed. I've screwed up. I don't think we've got a Serie A right back. I haven't ever... Um... Maybe swap them two round. 88. And that defence is fucking garbage. Morning, 91. Um, It's just that goalkeeper. And I may as well put in the best goalkeeper as well, which was Farman. We didn't get a German centre-back. We got a fuckload of Germans, though. Ninety-one. This is this is terrible. This is an absolutely terrible draft. So there's literally three players on seven. No, like loads of players not on the right chemistry, and a four chem fucking goalkeeper. My God, my God. Um. Right, let's go. Let's let's try. I'm gonna pause the video here, guys. I'm gonna try and rebuild something to see what the best chem is we can get, and hopefully try and figure some out. Right, guys. So this is looking the best I can get it, which is 91 chemistry. Um, and it's lucky I actually took the Brazilians. I made a, a massive, massive error with these. We need some chemistry to a lot of players, and fingers crossed we can get it. Santander, isn't it? Calcio A. That's where a few of them was. Takes up to 94 there. Um, there's no Brazilian. Nah, it's gonna it's gonna be the Calcio aim Brazilian manager um, to give us extra chem to the players. The goalkeepers on four, strikers on seven, cams on seven. It's garbage. It is garbage. And far, not happy. Not happy. But we have got time. Fingers crossed, guys. These players can pull me through to a draft victory.
It's probably not going to happen with a 180 rated, but who knows? Anything can happen. And we definitely needed some La Liga players, and we didn't get any. So, guys, this draft was probably the worst chem draft I've had in a very, very long time. But we still need to change the way we finish games. Now, regardless of the players, the players in each position were still pretty good. They are playable. It's just whether the chemistry does affect the players. Now, this first game was very, very tough. We can see the ball whipped into Ibrahimovic. You could tell instantly the game plan which my opponent obviously took on board. And I would probably do it as well if I had Ibra. But a nice passing link up here between Nangolam. Obviously getting in the area there, squaring it through and uh, simply put into the back post there uh, by Aguero. It was a very, very nice finish. But um, the one problem I was finding was that I was leaking goals. And this one, my controller died at the worst fucking possible moment and allowed my opponent to get in and tap it in with Ibrahimovic. A bad goal to concede, but that is a hint, guys. Make sure your batteries are charged up or you've even got the cable plugged in mid-game. Because that happens a few times to me where I'm a bit lazy and just forget to uh, plug the cable in and not keep an eye on the... Uh, rechargeable battery meter we did make it back to 2-2 guys my opponent then again took the lead there a brilliant finish from Martial from outside the area in the well, still in the first half so it wasn't that much panic driven into us a little bit of lag here guys through the attack and Golan picks up the ball rounds the defender smashed it underneath um, for a player who's not on full chemistry he played very well. I'm not even going to judge Nangol on the way he played in this draft either just because of the fact he is on low chem. Not on, well, not on perfect chem, you know, which is how I do like to judge the players. This shot should have been saved by the keeper. Ospina letting it in. 4-3 guys um, in the 66 and the game is killed off in the 83rd as Nangol holding up the ball there. He does have the strength. His team in the season card is going to be ridiculous and uh, Aguero, as you can see, um, getting saved but a nice rebound shot put in uh, by our man Pjanic who uh, obviously was a main part of the team. So five Free victory, conceded way too many fucking goals, but had so many chances um, and just didn't put them all away. So a frustrating first game, guys, but it was over. And now we are into the quarters up against Lewis PG8, and he does have inform Ebra, inform Mctarian, second no inform Coutinho, sorry, uh, Kante, Pogba, Gundo, Clavan, who nobody wants at their centre back position after last week's performance, and uh, Daily Blind, Luke Shaw, Coleman, and uh, Carius in net. A bad clearance from Carius, guys, does leave. It um, out for a throw in in the uh, 28th minute of the game, or 20th minute of the game. I can't see because the previous screen so small. Links up with Dybala, Dybala into Pjanic, low driven shot there, and it was a bit of a bobbler as well, guys. Does it make it 1 0 and uh, sees us into the lead? Into the second half, just after, guys, Dybala starts an attack, waits for the run of Aguero, use it as a bit of a deceiving moment, but Royce picks it up, low driven, smashed in 2 0, and the game was feeling very, very comfortable. I say feeling very, very comfortable. It wasn't because that was a game where we should have had more goals and just couldn't put them away. And you can see with our uh, opponent's low possession guys, uh, he give up after the second minute. So we should have had more goals before that, but it just never came. Our semi-final opponent, no, 87 rated team, 100 chem, um, 91 rated inform Bale, 95 inform Ronaldo, team of the year Iniesta, inform Old Reveld. Um A lot of players not on full chemistry, but still a full chem team nonetheless, and a lot of dangerous players. Munian was obviously used there for chemistry. He was a player who was substituted off. Uh, first two minutes of the game, guys. Thunder strike there from uh, Kun outside the area does make it 1 0 and sees us into the lead. But our opponent, um, bombing forward Rafina of all people, is able to equalise it up in the. Um it, not long after we had scored and made it 1-1 but Dybala with the scoop turn driven shot I think it must have took a de deflection looking at that one guys and you won't see on the replay because just the way the keeper dived and the way the ball went it just didn't look natural so I presume it did take a bit of a deflection Dybala picking up the ball again very dangerous player links up with Kun Kun pass the keeper 3-1 in the 32nd minute of the game guys and uh, we were cruising uh, looking like we are going to absolutely cruise to the final corner piece you can see Hernanes with the ball is able Able to drive on in, gets a second bite as it there, passes it to uh, Aguero, he puts it underneath the keeper, 4-1 in the 41st, and I honestly thought my opponent would have been long gone by now, but that wasn't to be the case, you can see him actually driving forward Marcelo ball through to Messi Messi gets it past the keeper 4-2 in the 53rd minute the game was looking like it was going to be back on if he had continued the pressure that he put on there but 58th you can see Dybala with the ball through to Nangola nice pass back to Dybala brilliant finesse shot he turned on for me there guys he got the goals um, the important goals as well and has got us straight to the final as well because not long after that guys my opponent did press the start button and uh, was gone in the 59th minute of the game so a lot of uh, 
ego boosting, I would say, guys, from that game alone. And uh, we were going to continue going forward. So our final opponent of today, Team of the Year, Marcelo, Inform Bale, Inform William, Fellaini, Boyan, Cruz, um, obviously Deco in the centre forward position as well. Uh, Vertonghen, Cahill, Inform Walker, Begovic, and uh, Fellaini. I don't know if I said Fellaini or not, but a nice looking uh, draft team, 85 rated, 100 chem, and uh, we were going to go all out to try and pick up the victory here. It was it was a given. Like for me to make a bad draft, like I have done. Um, and apologies for that as I always I always apologise for my bad drafts but I go and do the same mistakes over and over but I think you guys watch to see what mistakes I do make Pjanic with the ball there links it up to, to um I thought it was Dybala, but it was Aguero. He makes it 1-0 in the uh, 18th minute of the game. Very, very nice finish, but there was plenty more goals to be found in this game, guys. You can see Parolo picking up the ball, waiting for the run on the outside of Aguero, who runs on in. Nice, heavy touch, which I do like. Nice spin inside, passes back to Parolo. Parolo, bottom corner, makes it 2-0 in the 37th. Brilliant finish, and from that point, I was hoping my opponent was going to rage quit. How wrong was I? You can see the ball... Reading on through into the second half. It's Aguero who picks it up to kill the game off, guys. He's able to angle, it, angle his body, open it up, and make it 3 0. Very, very nice finish. But like I said, my opponent wasn't going to be hanging around the spell, well, wasn't going to be quitting. Reason being, I made stupid mistakes. I never pass it out. I don't know why I passed it out there to him. We did. He made it 3 1. Not long afterwards, we make it 4 1 with, with a, basically a header. Passed to, to Lewandowski from the keeper. Very, very nice header. Keeper left rooted. And then the corner set piece, guys. You can see it driven into the front post there. Uh, Lewandowski with a nice flick on makes it 5-1. But the best goal of the draft, guys, and the best goal of this game as well, comes from none other than uh, Danny Alves. And you see it here, pick it up. Bang. Top corner. What a goal. That is how the draft's going to finish, guys. 6-1 victory in the final. But let's go and see if the rewards are any good. Not bad. Not a bad win at all, guys. 6-1 uh, in the final and uh, convincingly won all the way throughout. Difficult game, I think, was the semis or maybe the quarters. But um, we persevered. We came through. And we scored an absolute stunning six goal, guys. Uh, with Danny Alves, of all people. It was an absolute stonker. A uh, bit of a failed free kick there. Passed it through. One touch and a bang. or well, two touches. Bang into the top corner, guys. And uh, a 6-1 victory. So I won't say no to that. Avoiding the no-loss glitch. I'm fucking even happy about that. And we are basically one more draft to go, guys. Um, throughout the... Uh, period of this week. So there's one more which is tomorrow's and uh, that is going to be the final chance I've got to get in the team of the week which is like Nangol and stuff like that. Are we going to get the two shit packs? No. Rare gold pack, premium gold pack and another one. That's not bad at all is it? You know, it's, it's, it's not bad but it's not it's not good either. It's not the best you know. It's not the best. We start off with a non-rare gold player. Some potentially could sell. Gomez in fact could be one of them. He's a sellable player. He is gone. We have Goretzka as oh no Gupertz and they're actually I don't know why he's going for so much, but he, he is actually going for a little bit now because of the fact he's German in the second Bundesliga. That guy. No bids. We'll list him up anyway. We have Peter. Two rare contracts. Fitness. We'll store it. Uh, discard the rest. Right. Now it's down to this. The two rare goal packs. <clears throat> no walkout for the first one. No informs for the first one. But we have got a right back, Cerner. Um, Croatian. Let's see if anyone else joins in. We've got Was. No like main league players, which is very, very disappointing. But there is some pretty all right rated cards there. Sanchez from Fiorentina. 900. No bids on any that I can see of. That's disappointing. They're probably going to get relisted for cheaper spin. We've got Lozano. Um... Nothing really. Uh, two squad fitnesses, and with the weekend league cancelled, I'm going to save all this. And the Southampton, oh, and the same with the uh, that as well. We'll discard the uh, Southampton badge. So there's no money to be made instantly off this. So rare goal pack to join. It's not a, um, a no. Fuck sake. We just get absolutely hammered, don't we? San Jose, uh, Spanish guy in the main league as well. Van Gioni for AC Milan and Wilson. Well, oh, he's not even selling. Damn, I thought San Jose would be used for the uh, SBCs, but obviously not. Van Gioni, 700 is, is sell sellable, and Wilson as well. So it looks like, oh, we've got buying kit as well. Um, so it looks like we have got a few consumables for the next weekend league when that one does come. Right wing to right forward is a pretty expensive card as well. And this kit is not a sellable. Damn, it's not a sellable kit. 
I will try and flog it though. I will try and flog it. So that's the end of the episode anyway, guys. Hope you've had a little bit of fun. Very surprised that I picked up a victory with that team. But one more draft to go, like I said, did say, guys, of next week, of this week. And uh, fingers crossed we can get a decent draft, high chemistry with decent players in it as well.